Hello YouTube. Look at that awesome background back here. Just sunset and we have some nice cloud coverage. Uh, it's about 70 degrees, maybe a little lower than 70 degrees. Weather is really nice. It feels fairly dry. Even though we had some rain this morning, we'll see how the humidity does. But we haven't had any rain for months, so hopefully it stays nice and dry. Uh, we are back out in the big wheat field tonight. Haven't been here now for a few weeks, so I'm interested to see what's coming out. Uh, obviously, we have the can am back here. Uh, Micah's going to come and Jen is going to come. So we'll be three shooters. Uh, again, we'll start here in this field. This is in the Thorndale area. See what's coming in this wheat field. We have quite a few fields uh, not too far from here where we can take the can am. Used to be corn, uh, it's all cut. Uh, but it's pretty big. I'm, I'd like to take the k and in there, uh, scan with the camera, see if you have any lone bores in there and then maybe do a running gun. However, we haven't been in those fields much, so I'm not sure how they look in terms of terrain. Any ditches <laughs> you would have to look out for with the, the k and M. I don't want to total that thing tonight. Uh, once we're done here or nothing else comes in or we get too tired of waiting, we'll head back to that Copeland area. Uh, we now picked up uh, a few more properties, um, so that would be option number two. But yeah, last weekend, Mike and I were out and we shot two boars, one in the gun, running gun, another one um, uh, just with the rifle uh, close to the trap. We were waiting, hoping that the pig would go in the trap, but it was a bigger boar. So the chances were pretty low and we decided just to shoot him. Anyways, uh, we got two, two pigs on the ground there. Um, let's see how much we can, we can do tonight. I really want to trap a pig over here, put a GPS track on one, so we can see how far they roam, uh, where they bed down. Um, that would be really interesting data. I have not been able to do that yet. I just moved that trap yesterday, put it in a, a better spot. Maybe we get lucky and these pigs come in tonight uh, and get in that trap. I do have the tracker with me, just in case, just for that purpose, in case we get a pig in that trap tonight. I get the spy point next to it set up to send me pictures, each detection. So if something goes in, I would know almost immediately and we can pack up here and head over there. Let me get unloaded. Micah and Jen are still on the way. Time for me to get things packed up, uh, get things in the KM. One more thing, and if you guys been following us on uh, socialist media, uh, Instagram and Facebook, you might have noticed what have happened there. One of the recent videos, I had my 300 Blackout uh, pistol uh, with me, with a new suppressor, a Dead Air Nomad Ti, super light can, looks fantastic, nice finish on it. I took one shot, 300 blackout out of a 9 inch barrel, and that thing blows up. The last weld all the way to the front broke, the whole front end came off. Uh, luckily, I was able to find it. It broke really cleanly on, on the weld, so I sent it in. I sent it back to Dead Air uh, for repair, and a few days after it got there, I, I sent them an email asking, hey, what's going on here? You know, that, that can came apart after one shot. I kind of wanted to know what's going on since, you know, my, my confidence level in this can wasn't very good. I mean, this was literally the first shot I took through this can and just blows up. So um, they tell me and they respond in an email and say, we haven't even looked at this can yet. And the normal turnaround is three to five weeks. That was all the response I got. So. I'm okay, let's just be patient, right? Uh, so I wait and I wait and all of a sudden I get a notification via UPS, I get a UPS shipment notification, something's coming in today. And it was that can, all of a sudden this can shows up. Now, let's take a look at what this can looks like. So you might notice those lines on here, those are welds. So the van went all the way to the front, that would weld on or that would connect the front end to the rest of the can. But now they also re-welded all the other welds. So look at these photos I took here from before and after repair. If you are familiar with dead air cans, you might think, well, this doesn't look like any one of them. And I would agree, it looks kind of like in between the normal naked and the Nomad TI. So in a way you can say this is a Nomad half naked. Now if this can holds up, uh, I'm okay. Ultimately it's what the, the thing needs to do. But I did 
purchased that can specifically for that look and because it was light but there's other light cans out there so yeah I bought it because of the look and now that look is kind of gone at least if I would have gotten some communication around it I think it would have been fine but there was zero communication um, they sent me a letter and said what they did they re welded all welds the problem they noted was welds need to be redone and that's it so not very happy probably the last that air can I, i'll buy uh, customer service just was disappointing i'm sure they the products are fine i'm sure other cans are fine maybe this has been a lemon who knows i would have expected some more communication like just a little bit of an explanation would have been fine um but nothing so i'm done with that air back to rugged all right let's get this show on the road and uh, see you guys in a bit Chet Lee and Micah are here and uh, we just took a dri drive with the k &M down the road to go into the field and all of a sudden Micah sees some, some uh, hawks up there where the hay bales are. So I decided just to uh, park the k &M real quick, walk down the road where we can be pretty quiet then go in the field and see how close we can get and uh, shoot a few. I think mine is down down there. There's a head. Oh yeah, he's gone down. Come on. Come on buddy, lay down. So, dropped off the can and walked on the road. Suddenly, this guy had a little emergency. Combat and dump. <laughs> combat dump, okay. Oh, he had to turn around. Luckily, he had some TP in the truck. So, he got Thank that. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Thank you for his, for his service, yeah. But yeah, so Mike and I uh, make our way forward, and all of a sudden, a, a train comes in, and that, that thing shot up out of nowhere. I like, uh, yeah. couldn't hear it, so we were kind of like behind. But it still gave us enough sound cover. We were staying on the other side of the fence, uh, and they were, did you notice that? They were going after the hay bale. They were. Do you see yep. that? Yep. One got up on his hind legs trying to pull up more hay or something, I'm not really sure, but um, I took a shot at the, the big boar, and then my rifle jammed up. And I'm shooting right now again, that's the MMG Banji 200 Mark III, and that's the story I had before, that thing was jamming up. So I put an adjustable gas block on it and I thought I had it fixed, but now I had the same situation again, that it's unfortunate. Um, cleared my jam and then I was able to take another shot, which was this boar here. Is it a boar? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but he kept running, so it wasn't a good shot and I was probably like 200 yards out at that yeah. point. So it was a further shot. And Micah went after it and uh, put it in the ground here. How many uh, entry wounds did you see? You 
go to one of those pig nuts I saw. Yeah, it was on the right. I guess from what I was looking at, I thought that was the prop that line from the wheat field to the coastal. And they were coming in and out of there, couldn't figure out where to go. And right as you were driving up, there was a little one here. He was he came all the way back around. It was tiny. I thought maybe you would catch him. I got out of the can when you catch it. But Did you? Just, okay. He just tried to go in his own. <clears throat> but yeah, there were several in that, that little line there, fence line. The one which is next to the hay bed, is it the one you shot at first? Or I thought yeah. the one you shot was bigger. There was one which was like all covered in mud. Did you go for this one? Or was the one furthest to the left? I went to the one in the middle. There was oh. hay bale, hog, hog here. I went here. That's okay. when you shot it. Okay, that seems to be the one. I shot the, the one closest to the hay bale on the left. Okay. That was the bigger one, which now is out in the field. Okay, over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get these dudes loaded up and then uh, see if we can get Jin on the hog because he hasn't been on the hog now for how long? Almost two months. I'm joking. And then he had one opportunity here. I know. And he goes to take a dub. I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> What in tarnation? <laughs> Didn't have time to put my snake guards on. I saw him over in the grass. Yeah. Some hogs. Maybe that's the trick. Don't wear snake guards. I tried that. It doesn't work. Right the exit mode, right? That would be the exit mode, yeah. Somebody was shooting at his legs and at his ball. Yeah, he ran quite a bit. I missed out. Was was it a good dump though? It was satisfying though, oh man. <laughs> it was that was not good times by what it came out here. All the way. We'll get the new channel this. Now go check out these hay bales. There are no cows on this side of the fence, so any damage done to these hay bales was not cows. What do you think, Dr. Micah? Is, is it, it dead? Is the patient gonna live? Is she gonna make it? Yeah. <laughs> Cause of death? It's where you say COVID-19. Would, <laughs> yeah, that would be a Barnes 150 TTSX. But we get more money if you say it was a COVID-19 death. So it's going to be a COVID-19 death with a side effect of Barnes bullets. I know it wasn't the flashbang because we didn't have the... <laughs> no flashbang. <laughs> the Panzer Shrek tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
He died name, from the they, concussion. They destroyed that <laughs> neighborhood. Oh, look, I know this is what they're doing. They're eating the wheat. They're still... Actual, is it the wheat germ, I guess? It's in there that they're eating? Yeah. So that one that you shot was up on hind legs, right? Uh, so not not the one I shot, but yeah, I saw one that which, which was on its hind legs and actually just like trying to pull out uh, hay or wheat, I guess, right there. I shot the one which was over here to the left, and that's the big one we just loaded up in the KM, the one with the mud and everything. But there was another one in the group which was all white, so all muddy. Uh, that's the one I thought you were going for, but I guess you were with the. Oh. Yeah, all the way to the left. Mm. Mine was right next to the hay bale. And then I guess you had the one in between those. Now, if we had a third shooter, we could have gotten more, but. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> there was a. This. The hog over here was bigger. Yeah. Because it looked like it was. I didn't have a great shot on it. Oh. I mean, it's my typical rear end pop, but. And then we have the picket over there, so we have four. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, <coughs> the field wipes, Ronnie. It came in clutch. <laughs> See, he gets to learn from my mistakes. I had to use <laughs> corn husks. He gets the comfort treatment. The, the luxury. Just like Jeffrey Epstein, it's not gonna hang itself. It doesn't work out here, but uh, somebody has to load it up. You can say that the Christmas lights. They're not gonna hang themselves, just like Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. I think I wanna get these hands off. Why? Because it's a one hog you shot, it didn't shoot in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do a little two step action. Do you have ice with you? Yeah. Right. Nope. Didn't bring my pack, so screw it. Right. I loaded it up. <laughs> one one. So do you prefer wearing your tactical pouch right in front of your groin? Your tactical loincloth? <laughs> Gives a nice padded action. It's just comfortable. It's like <laughs> just, a jog strap. You just like a little bit of pain while you run? Or? But it forces you to walk at a specific pace, right? Because <laughs> you just gotta, just gotta hit that rhythm right. Because that metal buckle, it hammers on the handguard. Uh, so it keeps going tink, tink, tink. But you know what? I'll just cover it up. But now something else is being hammered. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was. <laughs> that long. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that from the video. <laughs> <laughs>